Don't do this. She grabbed Arlo's hand, but he pulled his arm away. You're not gonna stop me. Fact was, he had no choice. He'd been ordered to do this, and since Arlo had a debt to pay, this was how he had to pay it. His mother flopped down onto the ratty couch she always said was better than nothing. More times than not, it seemed like nothing was all they had. So he'd gone out into the neighborhood and made his own way. She hadn't complained when he came home with rolls of bills. She took the money and didn't ask how he got it. For a while, they had more food, money for clothes for her and Millie. He'd bought the sneakers he wanted. Took a girl out for a while, until she asked why he didn't treat her more fancy. In the bedroom, Millie started crying. Dang kid was always wailing about something. Hard to believe she was his. But that was what Celise had said before she left the baby with his mother and never came back to pick her up. He listened for a moment and looked around, soaked up the sights and sounds he wouldn't know for a long time. Maybe never. If he was lucky, he'd get 15 to 20 years. But when he got out, his debt would be paid, and he'd be free. Millie didn't need to grow up with him in her life. He'd never done good for his daughter. His mom could make her own money for once. Even if Hayden had promised to take care of them, whatever that meant. The two of them would be all right. Arlo closed the front door behind him and headed down the hall. He took the stairs and went out the fire exit to the alley, where a nice dodge with black windows and an engine that growled was parked. He got in the back, and it pulled out before he'd even shut the door. You know what you gotta do? Arlo stared up at the building at the fire escape outside his window, where he and Celise had lain on that blanket and pretended they could see the stars. I asked you a question, kid. He turned to the guy in the back seat beside him. Suit, slick hair, rings on both hands. Hayden was the kind of guy Arlo had tried to be. But some people had money. Some didn't. No matter how much Arlo tried, this kind of life took more than it gave. He weren't never gonna be rich. Yeah. He cleared his throat, but he sounded like a little kid anyway. I know what I gotta do. 